How many times do you have a nagging question in the back of your mind that you fail to ask that resulted in a, I should have asked that moment? The question you hesitate to ask results in problems or complications. How many times do you remember being in school, in a class, struggling with a problem? You were too embarrassed to raise your hand to ask a question. There were probably at least two or three other students in the room with the same question who were also too embarrassed to ask. In situations of caregiving, failing to ask a question because directions were unclear or because you might be embarrassed to ask may place a life at risk. There are no silly questions. Smart people ask questions. The way you ask a question makes a difference. Listen to the difference between how did this happen versus explain the steps you took that resulted in XYZ. Not only is the second question better, it might help the person taking the action to determine a better way to achieve the expected result. Here's another one. Why did you do that? Versus, what results were you expecting? This removes any perceived accusation or blame from the question and turns it into an exercise of thoughtful consideration. I expected this, but received that. What might I do differently next time? Asking good questions is a learned skill. This shows you are thinking about a subject and trying to find a better way or a different outcome, a better approach or improved understanding. Practice asking questions and then try rephrasing your question to receive a better or more accurate response. For example, look at the difference between asking a client, what's wrong, versus, it seems something might be bothering you. What is happening and how may I help? Make it a point to ask a question each time you have a conversation with someone. Asking questions shows interest in a person or a subject and will improve confidence in communicating. Asking questions will improve your self-esteem because questions improve your knowledge. It's much better to ask specific questions regarding deadlines or expectations than to have someone come back to you asking for a report that you fail to complete because you fail to ask the due date. You can never be too educated or ask too many questions. I'm Pamela Wilson of The Caring Generation, an online community of support for family and professional caregivers.